what you see is the erection of a, a very large uh, thermal solar planet uh, that would contain 50,000 uh, heliostat uh, mirrors, uh, which would reflect the sun uh, on an SRSG uh, on a height of uh, 2,250 uh, meters. This massive solar tower will provide around 1% of Israel's electricity, according to an agreement with the Israeli government. At peak power, we're producing 121 megawatts. It's about 1% of uh, the electricity required in, in Israel at peak. Uh, and it provides energy for about 120,000 homes at that time. Israel is aiming to fulfill 10% of the country's energy needs with renewables by 2020. The new energy plant will help reach that goal and should be fully built by late next year at a cost of over $770 million. Most solar power in the world is generated by photovoltaic panels, which can be installed almost anywhere from your roof to your backyard. It's a lot more difficult to build a solar power tower because it requires a lot of land and is only cost efficient in large scale projects. Luckily, the Israeli desert is more than big enough for the new record breaking tower. We've gone to the, to the latest generation of heliostats. Uh, these are the mirrors, a million square meters of mirrors surround our power tower. Uh, our power tower will be amongst the tallest and therefore allow the highest uh, energy density uh, of, any of, these, uh, of any of these plants. Uh, we have advanced controls through Wi-Fi towers that are spread out throughout the, uh, throughout the plant. Uh, and we use the latest generation of, of uh, steam power technology, steam turbines and generators provided by General Electric. The tower will be surrounded by 50,000 computer-controlled mirrors to project the sun's rays. Although it's privately funded by the Israeli company Megalim Solar Power, the Israeli government has guaranteed to buy the plant's power at an above-the-market price. Megalim says their new tower is making massive strides, especially when it comes to more efficiently producing solar energy. We're making strides in efficiency, we're making strides in compressing the time of construction, we're making strides in, uh, in trying to merge uh, energy storage with, uh, with energy during the daytime, uh, and therefore we're going down a learning curve that will help us to continue to offer solar energy at, uh, at the most competitive rates. And everything that happens around us in uh, photovoltaic uh, and in other areas of renewable energy, we welcome it. It's a, it's a challenge and we learn from each other going forward.